With record consumption of 3 million bottles of codeine daily, the federal government had no choice but to ban the sale of codeine containing cough syrup without prescription across the country in May 2018. This meant that no new import permits were issued for codeine as an ingredient for cough syrups, and new application for and renewers of licenses of syrups containing it was scrapped. Codeine is an opiate used to treat pain, cough and diarrhea with addiction as a major side effect. Codeine cough syrup is produced on an industrial scale and dozens of Nigerian companies legally manufacture it. Hence, more than 19 months after the ban, May and Baker Nigeria PLC, producers of Macedon, a cough syrup with codeine, are crying out that they've lost over 1 billion naira alone to the ban. The company revealed that it lost 700 million naira in annual income and loss of raw materials and finished products worth over 350 million naira. Actually, the reaction of the government is very good uh, because the ban uh, should be in place until we re-evaluate all the processes, regulatory processes, manufacturing controls, drug distribution controls. And if we then find out that we could actually have a restricted use of Codeine uh, containing medicine, it doesn't have to be syrup. We've been thinking of actually making tablets of it uh, or encouraging manufacturers to make tablets of it. Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer, May and Baker Nigeria PLC, Namdio Kaft, said most pharmaceutical manufacturers are contending not only with the loss of revenue but funds already invested in finished and raw materials urging the federal government to help pharmaceutical companies to pay for the drugs and sell them under strict monitoring and control. Its product, Misidil, is prescribed for dry, irritating, unproductive coughs, nasal congestion, colds and allergy conditions involving the airways. It can be recalled that in April this year, NAFTA prevailed that it will cost 1 billion naira to reimburse all manufacturers for the codeine ban. If May and Baker is claiming a loss of such an amount, what is the fate of other manufacturers and how will they balance out? I can go to the market and meet my, I my Amazon distributor and tell him I need 100 cartons. We make it available for you. For a few good, they can never, they cannot even sell one carton to you. Because they don't know who you are. Everybody is being cautious. You understand? Okay. I wouldn't want something that would land me up in the police net or NDLA net or anything or any other day. BBC documentary on the abuse and illegal sale of codeine, NAFTAC raided Peace Standard Pharmaceutical Limited, Bioraj Pharmaceutical Limited, and EMSO Pharmaceutical Industries Limited. And due to insufficient evidence gathered and resistance to provide needed documents during inspection, NAFTAC shut down these companies but later reopened them. Barely seven months into the ban, the Nigerian government said it recalled at least 2.5 million bottles of codeine based cough syrup from circulation nationwide. To continue the enforcement of this ban, Nigeria is relying on its drug law enforcement agency saddled with these challenges. NDLA today has 4,778 officers and men, including the chairman of the NDLA, including myself that does not go to the street to enforce law. And we are serving 200 million Nigerians and the entire landmass of Nigeria. NDLA does not more, have more than 120 serviceable vehicles all over the nation, all over the nation. In 10 years, NDLA has only bought five Hilux vehicles. If pharmaceuticals are at a serious loss, NDLA barely enforcing, given its challenges, is the ban just a hoax? Uh, drug enforcement is the responsibility of everybody. If you leave it to NDLA alone, we cannot make it. Roots TV, Nigeria.